Let's go. Dude, that was hype. Oh man, this is crazy. guys what's going on so it's summertime and where i live that means that at pretty much any gathering you go to people will be playing cornhole for anyone doesn't know cornhole is played on a board that looks like this and you throw bean bags and you get one point if it lands on the board and three points if it goes in the hole i'm not very good at cornhole however with a little bit of engineering i think we can make it a little bit better question that I hope a lot of people are asking is how does this work? So the key it all starts in this webcam right here. This webcam is responsible for detecting when a bag has been thrown as well as providing positional data on that bag while it's in the air. The webcam is connected to my laptop and the data is being analyzed by a program I wrote in Java using processing. This program takes about a thousand pictures and then averages them all together and calls out a baseline and then compares every new frame to that picture to detect when something has changed. When it detects a bag, it will draw a green cross over top of the bag as well as a blue cross to indicate the direction of movement and then project forward where it's going to be in the future. All the positional data and the predictions are then sent to Arduino Uno over Serial. The Arduino uses this data to decide which direction it should move the motors to translate the board up, down, left or right, or a combination of both. It then sends signals to a DC motor controller, which provides power to the motors to actually translate the top surface of the board. The board is moved by these geared DC motors. They have six tooth pulleys on them, paired with a GT2 belt. Each motor has a rotary encoder on it, these provide the Arduino with the actual position of the board and closes the feedback loop between the board and the motors. The top surface of the board translates on top of these drawer slides. I chose these because it's an inexpensive way to get smooth linear motion. Pairing two sets of these drawer slides together, we can achieve smooth linear motion in both of the required axes. In Mark Roper's dartboard video, he uses a infrared motion capture system. And in Stuff Made Here's backboard video, he uses an Xbox Kinect. If for some reason you haven't seen either one of these videos, please go watch them. They're incredible. I'll leave links down below. And both of these systems are able to place their ball or dart into a 3D space. This means that they could back calculate where it's going to land based off of the ballistic trajectory. This is definitely the correct way of approaching the problem. However, in my ongoing efforts to do things as cheap as possible, I just used a webcam which provides a 2D representation of space. And I figured, you know, I'll just fix it with software later. Because, you know, no one's ever regretted that decision before. All this means that my cornhole board has to make its best guess on where the bag is going to land based on the available data. So, inevitably, it misses sometimes. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the project. I know I really did. Um, if you want to see more like it, make sure you subscribe, you know, do all the YouTube stuff. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.